everyone what is up people welcome back today i'm gonna share with you something special which is this maple antenna this is a 5.7 gigahertz well not sure if it's 5.7 or 5.8 but this is the maple wireless which has a 2 db gain and this one's with the ipex connector so i'm gonna try this on my 2024 mobula 6 and see if that makes much difference as compared to the dipole that we are used to the stock 2024 mobula 6 comes with the dipole antenna and i'm going to swap out with this omnidirectional one this maple wireless antenna comes in two different lengths this particular one is the 37 mil it's got the ipex connector as well as the copper for the omnidirectional carrier and the whole thing it's wrapped in some sort of shrink wrap so let's put it on the scale and take a look the maple wireless antenna weighs in around 1.1 gram and I tried a couple of times and each time the weight varies from 1.11 to 1.2 but in general it is about 1.1 Compared to the dipole antenna which weighs around 0.5 grams, it is twice as heavy but I would think that it would be slightly better as this is an omnidirectional as compared to the dipole antenna which is vertical to the axis of the antenna. This allows us to receive the radio waves in all directions simultaneously. So let's just swap it out and see how it goes. So on my receiver end, I'm using the Foxio Wildfire with this ORT omnidirectional antenna and the Foxio Lollipop 2. It is the same with the previous flight with the dipole antenna. So if you want to watch that video, just check out the links down below. Now originally this whoop weighs in at around 17 point something grams. Now with the maple antenna, it's going to go up to about 18 grams. So we'll see how it goes and let's head out to the field. Alright, so the Mobula 6 has the maple antenna on it. Don't know how this will go, but I don't know. We'll just check and see if the penetration is good enough because I usually fly around this area. So I didn't change the VTX power and it's the same from when it just first came out from the box. And the only thing I changed is the antenna and the camera. But other than that, everything else is still the same. So we'll see how it goes and see if there's a difference especially flying over those trees if i could actually fly over those trees uh, yep hope you enjoy the video all right so i'm gonna try flying around this particular area where the old bando is and just flying around and got some slight video noise oh there's some people there and around these trees but the most important is behind this bunch of trees over here this is where i get the worst noise but seems i'm able to fly here which is pretty good and it clear up as soon as i get out of that area over the trees I couldn't do it previously with the dipole antenna because I had to walk all the way up close to the trees just to get this footage but I'm still sitting where I'm sitting so this is a plus for me
Alright, so that's it for today's video. Looks like the uh, maple antenna is really something. I, I could I could do with more of these antennas. I, I really like it. So, that's it for today's video. Now do give some love and give a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Till the next one, thank you all for watching and see you guys again soon. Ciao.